my dear ladies and gentlemen, this is yours truly, Light Liger, aka The Crypto Enthusiast, and today I'm starting a new video series, which will be broken down into three different parts. In each of them, we're going to be exploring different low market cap coins. And it must be said, I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm going to be talking about in this video is pure speculation based on roadmaps, features, proprietary tech, business deals, adaptation, the community sizes, and all that type of stuff. And it has to be also said that even if you have a coin that has all of these amazing features, if it's not marketed, it's probably not going to be seen a lot in the price. Bitcoin is technologically one of the worst performing coins out there, but it's still number one. So the price is not always the indicator of the potential of the project. I will be breaking down this into three different parts. As I said, first part, 1 million to 500k market cap coins on the second episode, 500k to 100k, and on the third episode, below 100k coins. And I might do more of these uh, depending on how these videos basically perform. Maybe I do a monthly series. But let's get started. So um, the first project we're going to be looking is Gold Mint. And currently it is an ERC-20 token, but it will be migrating into its own chain. Basically, the value will be still the same and all that, but you can acquire the coin already through the Ethereum uh, token. And basically it's, um, well, I think the video will do the best job to demonstrate what they are building. So they are working on a cold backed token or a chain and they had these basically custody, custody bots which can be installed in pawn shops. That's kind of like their primary market here. And you can put pawns into the machine. So in this we can see the woman putting a gold ring into the machine and then the machine starts to process what's actually going on here. Is it gold and it like actually does um, all of the hoops and loops to get the valuation for the gold. And then this person, once the, all the processing is done, you can see the valuation of the, the Russian rubbles there and the weight and everything like that. And then you can directly get this to your credit card. I believe there's going to be a token support as well. And it also works in reversal where you put money in and then you get um, gold in exchange, as you can see. And they have some promising um, retail things in play. Retail to me is kind of like an underrated spectrum where crypto is not doing as much I think it would need to do. A lot of the thing is going on, financial, DeFi gets thrown a lot, but a lot of average, average everyday people don't use that. And they have, well, there's a lot of information on the website. So definitely I'm not going to be going through all the hoops and loops explaining everything about the project. You have to do your research on your own. But um, there are these big chains from um, Russia and other countries to my understanding, which are palm broker chains, which are probably going to be installing those machines so basically, wherever you go in Russia, for example, in every gold pawn shop, you're going to be able to use that machine. And that would be pretty crazy. And I see a lot of potential with this one. It's uh, they have like a real technology there, which is proprietary. I haven't seen anything like it before. Um, I was obviously not the guy who was hanging around on pawn shops. And they're going to be having proof of stake functions. And I think there's a lot of about the actual the numbers and everything you need to know about here. There's a distribution of tokens and there's going to be some type of a dividend system based on what I looked here. And it has been doing really well and recently here you can see the curve. And I think it's going to go up more as more exploration. I would invest everything that really evolves gold right now. I think gold is really um, pretty big right now in terms of basically the... Uh, I'm, 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 uh, you know, with, with this um, printing of money. But let's move on. Uh, next up, we have LuxCore. And this is a masternode, proof of stake, proof of work coin. It's a multiple algorithms. It has been around. Um, they have some great technology, as you can here see, uh, a payment processor, which you can use. They have uh, 
wallet, which I have used also, which enables you to stake without it being connected to anything. So it's, um, they have a bit of a different type of staking system or a model, but basically you can store your coins into the wallet and then it will start staking long as you have over 90 Lux. Um, they also have a decentralized exchange coming out. Um, it's one of the more promising Masternode coins, also smart contract support, which is pretty um, rare for many Masternode coins out there. So technology-wise, Lux is doing a lot of things. Um, it is on relatively few exchanges right now, um, but the overall roadmap, um, based on what I was looking, the things that they are working on, it looks pretty promising. A lot of things in works. Um, the price hasn't been the most resistant, but I think at some point more exploration and more people are going to be talking about it and seeing the progress. And I think Lux can uh, definitely scale more into the future. Definitely undervalued right now. Uh, moving on, we have SafeCoin, which is, well, a privacy-based masternode proof-of-stake coin. And basically, they also have their own exchange, which is Safe Trade. Um, might do a video about it in the future. And they also have a safe pay payment system. They have the safe nodes, which is uh, multi asset transactional consensus hardening protocol, which I don't know what it means, but um, SafeCoin has, you know, multiple consensus systems on it. There's a lot of promising things about it, in my opinion. And the halving is in 21 days. So halving is always going to be affecting the price. I think it's a pretty good investment um, given the fact that the halving is very close. And if you buy now, you're probably going to be getting it uh, a better price after two months or so. And there's development, there's articles in their website, they're active. I, I visited their Discord, they have an actual exchange and everything. So exchange-based coins and tokens are always been more valuable than other ones because there's an economy tied into it and tech can mean that there's a use case if people want to list their coins into a, uh, an exchange, they have to buy it on the native coin and etc. And that's why I think SafeCoin is definitely a pretty solid pick uh, under the million market cap um, options. Next up, we have Liquidity Network, and this is pretty crazy. It's um, ERC-20 token, and it is basically a second layer solution on Ethereum with zero gas transactions. And it's already online on Ethereum. I haven't tried it myself, but if they, what they say is true, then it's a very, very promising thing. So gas-free transfers and swaps. Um, they also have their own wallet, which they have done. They also have other stuff, which they have created. Um, everything about it is open source, which is an also good thing. Um, they have a one wallet button, which basically allows you to create wallets. Um, they also have their exchange coming out known as Tex, which is a trustless exchange. Um, it is not uh, out yet, but it's definitely one of those things, which probably going to be uh, increasing the price a bit. Uh, looks very promising to me, very clean layout. A lot of the DEXs have very, very bad fonts and layouts, just calling that out. And there's also um, micro.me, which is where you get cash or penny for news articles. And basically, I, I guess you write there and or you post articles there and you get paid for that. I haven't looked into that, but there is a very uh, promising part of the ecosystem. So liquidity network is definitely something that has a lot of promise. And I think the valuation for it is probably a bit low. There's a lot of competing second layer solutions, obviously. So it's hard to say which one is going to be emerging there, but it is definitely one of those uh, you want to consider grabbing small bags on. Um, moving on, we have player, which is a gaming based uh, token, but really one of the reasons I decided to pick this for one, picking out top 10 in this um, market cap thing didn't really have that many promising projects. So I had to squeeze in like a couple of ones which necessarily weren't the most magnificent. But Player is interesting because it's the first D chain based um, token. So you're able to already trade it at the D chain decks. 
Vexenius or whatever it's called. And this one is a lot of promising, a lot of big games, uh, minting your tokens and test nets. Basically, you get money for playing and, you know, contributing into the... Um, basically, it talks about, like, offline events, tournaments. Um, there's a video also here which kind of goes into... I think I remember this being pretty well made. Um, it's definitely the number one token on VeChain. If you're going to be buying some VeChain tokens, definitely uh, decide to pick this one out. They are also doing some, if I remember right, VR stuff. Um, the white paper also looked decent. I, I think there is, you know, a chance for a breakthrough. Uh, China has a lot of esports scenes in, for example. So that's a big market to explore already. So it, it means it's a Chinese project. So um, the, here's a lot of charts. I mean, it's a pretty well, well done white paper. But um, there, yes, is a lot of gaming based tokens and coins out there. So it's going to be pretty hard to say um, which one is going to be emerging number one, but here is basically, um, the part of the system where you can see like in-game items, training, token mining, all of these things that you can create through it. There's a lot more nuance to this project, which I'm not covering in this video. So I definitely recommend you checking this out yourself and more into their ecosystem and how these smart contracts and everything basically work out and how these like token rewards are given out to amateur players and such. So I, I do like the model here, but it needs to see how it like scales up. Uh, next up we have Uptrend, which is like basically cryptocurrency only Reddit. And yes, they have certain other um, so-called subreddits, which they're not called in this, we'll call them communities. And this one didn't perform so well in the beginning, but slowly, actually, the price has gone up quite a lot. And the trend, uptrend, if it even grasps 5%, 10% of the volume of Reddit, it's going to be a reckoning force. And I see a lot of people already posting on the platform it is very gamified in the sense that you will be getting money from your posts, your comments, upvotes are going to be mattering, and general activity. So Uptrend is um, one of those ERC20 tokens that has a lot of promise. And the supply is kind of big though, um, but we will see how that will matter. Will they burn some of the supply because they've been also funded by bombs, um, you know, incubation labs basically. And I think it's definitely one of those that could go really, really high in the future as more people come to Uptrend. And I think it could replace Reddit because there's so much censorship there. But there is a bit of bots in the website and those need to be dealt with so people are not gaming the system and spamming. But Uptrend has a lot of potential, I, I really mean it. But also it kind of needs F F uh, Ethereum 2 happening. So they will be able to like, you know, scale the costs of like sending every person like those rewards. That's why they have minimums you need to get, which is 200 uptrend points before you can get to cash out. Um, moving on, we have PAC, which has been, or PAC coins, some people remember, has been around for a long time. And they have gone through, well, a consensus changes. Now they're a masternode coin and it used to be proof of work coin in the past and they they have a lot of things going on they just released an ios wallet they also had an airdrop there and also want to talk about the roadmap because there are a lot of things that they're doing they're also going to be featured on a netflix documentary uh which is about crypto and i think that could that is going to boost all the coins that are going to be featured on that documentary because all the normies are going to be watching that Netflix documentary. I'm not going to be saying it's the next Tiger King, but it could be something close. Like people will watch it and people will explore coins and PAC has been confirmed to be participating and featured on the documentary. And they have a lot of like retail stuff on the works, which they have done. Uh, retail payments, they have pretty ambitious, um, they're talking about marketplaces, 3 to 20 um, in, 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 in August and in June, they also have a lot of plans and I do like the roadmap, there's 
uh, pack browser apparently coming on and many, many things that they are working on. There's real development going on. On, on the blockchain and it has been around, it has a bit of recognition and it's on multiple pools and multiple exchanges as well. So I think PAC, PAC is a really low uh, priced coin right now. And it's one of those coins which definitely has those up and, you know, day and night 20% swings. And you're definitely going to be seeing some uh, price increases once the uh, documentary is going to come out. And once these all of these other changes that they're pushing out uh, will come out. Um, then we have smart lens, which is uh, basically you get investments of real estate. So basically these tokens are worth of real estate. These are real houses in the world, which you will be basically owning uh, through the tokens. And this is a very inter interesting uh, type of thing. Here's some, you know, metrics about it. I believe this is... um. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is a Stellar token and it's a, one of the bigger ones on Stellar alongside of Virex and, well, the Acorn is probably going to be pretty big too. And it, it's, it's um you know, the real estate is one of the ones that are going to be having big swings on these crisis situations. So people are going to be buying real estate really cheap now. And once the epidemic goes down, um, some point the, you know, the prices will go up. So I don't know how that is affecting Smartland's price, but I guess um, somewhat negatively. But I, I guess that you know the value of the housing market is going to go up once the recess is going to be ending. And I think they have pretty active community, active updates here. You know, two updates already on May. So um, definitely look more into this project. It's been featured in many, many different things. And, you know, uh, definitely a low market cap token, which you might want to add to your portfolio. Um, it should be available on many of those Stellar Dex platforms as well. Um, but read more into this project. There's a lot more into it than what I said here. Um and then as our second last project, we have Netbox. I have done a video about this. Basically, they have a decentralized web browser. And by browsing with the browser, you will be getting money. And that is Netbox coins, which can you can stake. And if you have enough stakes, you can set up a masternode. And they have a very ambitious roadmap ahead. I mean, here's a bit of a breakdown of the actual staking rewards and everything. Um, there are a lot of things that they are working on. Netbox Store, Netbox News, Netbox Chat, um, Netbox Lottery, uh, multi-currency crypto wallet. That would be pretty sick. Um, and there's also uh, Netbox Video. So there are many things that they are working on. A very ambitious roadmap. Let's see if they're actually going to be able to deliver a lot of these things. But um, the project is pretty solid. I thought it would kind of like, you know, have a pretty high price for a week and then like slam down, but it didn't really happen. It's been pretty consistent and I think it's been undervalued actually right now. Um, there has been some concerns about the browser itself. I mean, I don't know if it was just FUD or what, but basically people are saying that, you know, the 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 browser had some shit going on on the background, but I don't know. You do your own research about it. But Netbox Global is definitely an interesting Masternode coin. Yes, there is a lot of um, crypto browsers coming out and already out, but there's definitely room for a couple of ones which are developing their um, economy around them. And then as the very last coin on the platform, we have Pasco coin, which is zero fee. Fast, I don't know what the TPS is, and scalable. So what it actually does, which is makes it special from any other blockchain, is that it can erase old blocks. And there's two very big things about that, in case you don't understand. So first of all, it means that people who are setting up nodes don't have to worry about the space being eaten up on their hard drive as much because it deletes data much as it basically uh, creates it. Secondly, we have talked about surveillance coin, aka normal coins like Bitcoin, where people can see 
where the transaction came from and the feds and the police can track your uh, payments where they're going. When you have a situation like Pascal where all transactions are being removed, there is a level of security entailed with that because we don't need uh, all of that old transaction data from five years back uh, coming back. So that's good. So there's a lot of um, big benefits to that uh, groundbreaking um, safe pox technology. And they also have a lot of things they're working on. I think the random hash, which is a GPU and ASIC resistant hash algo has gone on. And there's many things that they are working on, uh, platforms, um, and you can actually get free pass uh, um, from here. You can try it out with your phone number apparently. But let's not look into that right now. Um, I'm not gonna lie, price-wise, this coin hasn't done really that well. So it, it's definitely, it needs some type of um, boost, like videos like these need to be made about it, but there's a lot of things that they're currently uh, working on and the roadmap looked really, really good. All the things that they are working on, all of these new features and all of the existing ones. There are a lot of doing layer two applications on top of Pascal. Decentralized consensus ledger, proof of stake overlay to the network also, which will uh, decentralize and make the mining and everything about the project better. I think it's definitely unappreciated project technology wise. I don't see anybody really talking about it. Sometimes I see publish OS publish OX articles on you know on on from their team page, but other than that, I don't really see a lot of people talking about it. But I mean, the idea of removing old blocks is pretty impressive, and I think they also have a mobile wallet in the works or already released, so that's also good. But that pretty much uh, wraps up my top ten coins from this price range. We're gonna have a lot more interesting coins in the next batch, just gonna be telling you that. And obviously do your own research. Some of these coins, at least one of them, are gonna be seeing huge canes in the future, which when it is, it's everybody's guess, obviously. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.